<clears throat> okay, so good morning, everyone. It's the 29th of July. Um, we're in uh, the first day of our second edition of the University to Jobs uh, transition program, the University to Jobs training program. We're really happy to have you here with us. Um, today, what we're aiming to do, or what we plan to do, is an introduction session for uh, the coming three months. So first of all, welcome. Um, we're happy that you're here. And what we're aiming to do together over the next three months is to make each and every one of you into an expert user of AI tools. And so what we foresee, and the overall reason why we're here, is uh, we're here because we want to help improve your employment. So not necessarily your employability, but your employment. And uh, we make a distinguish, uh, we distinguish between those two characteristics. For us, um, there's employability is something which you can improve a small amount, and you may or may not recognize that in terms of getting a better job um, or an improvement in your current job or a salary increase in your current job. So, for example, your employability could be improved by 1%. Um, but to actually improve the state of your employment, um, we've designed this program to be done in such a way that your um, either the type of job that you get or the salary that you get at your current job or getting a promotion within your current job uh, is possible. So I should actually introduce myself. I forgot to do that. Um, my name is Arun Sharma. I'm one of the co-founders of Ten Academy. Um, I believe most of you... So is everyone able to hear me? I hear some people saying it's not audible. Am I, if you can just use the reaction, if you can give me a thumbs up if I'm audible. Am I audible? Yeah, okay. So if I'm not, if I'm not audible, then um, yeah, I don't think it's on my side, but I'm glad that it's working. Okay, so I'm one of the co-founders of the organization, um, and together with the team, we're going to be delivering this program to you over the next three months. Um, we're fortunate that uh, we're able to offer this program to you with the support of a donor, the GitLab Foundation. Uh, it's a US-based foundation, which exists much like we do to improve the uh, employment of young people across Africa. Um, so if you're not speaking, if you could please mute, I think uh, you're Danos, if you could please mute yourself. Right, a little bit of background noise. Danos. Thank you. So as I said, uh, we're here to improve your employment, uh, not necessarily your employability. And uh, we do that by looking at what industry is demanding in terms of skills, knowledge, uh, attitudes, and ideas. And we will be working with you over the next three months, not only to uh, teach you about them, but to give you hands-on experience in those areas. The overall overarching um, area of experience that we want to make you an expert in is we want to make you an expert in using AI tools. And so for us, um, recognizing that we have, we want to make this open to as many people as possible, um, and we don't want to ex re have very strong prerequisite requirements, um, what we're going to be doing is to say that we want you to be an expert user in tools such as ChatGPT, no code platforms, co-pilots, and all of the other tools that you might have heard about. So I'm just going to take a moment and I just want to throw out a few terms and I'd like you to use the reaction tab. So not necessarily the putting your hand up tab, but using the reaction tab. And I would just like to get a survey or a sense from the um, people that we have here, uh, what your experience is with, or how many people have at least heard of these different tools. So how many of you have heard of uh, ChatGPT? Yeah, okay. How many of you have heard of Google Gemini? Okay. How many of you are familiar with Microsoft Copilot? Okay. What about a uh, no-code platform like Notion?
Okay. And uh, a tool like Asana? So Eric says no. Um, lots of people are putting their hands up. Asana, people have used before. Godwin says no as well. So I'm just going to, uh, the people who have put their hands up in terms of, uh, so Nana Ajipang says no. Um, what are some other tools? You can just put it in the chat box. What are some other tools that people have heard about um, which they think may be related to AI and they, or to tools, AI tools that people can use and uh, they would like to learn a little bit more about? So you can just type your answers in the chat box. So let's not use audio, given the size of people, the size of the call, it's going to be difficult for us. Perplexity, um, VXZ, ChatGPT, Google AI Studio, Poe, uh, ChatGPT. Yeah, I assume that's ChatGPT. Cloud.ai, ChatGPT, Poe. OK. Cider, Gemini. OK, so what we believe is if you look at all of the tools that uh, GitHub Copilot, yeah, that's another one that's a auto, uh, another way to improve uh, coding as well. So what we believe is that um, people who are able to use these tools and not just have some experience with them, but uh, to be able to apply them to um, to work situations, they can become a lot more productive and they're able to um, probably work faster than their colleagues. And in our experience, and this is the second time we're doing this program, in our experience, uh, people who can use these tools well um, can probably uh, experience a 10x improvement in their uh, productivity and their effectiveness. And if you're able to not just say that you know how to use these tools or to use them to save a little bit of time or in specific use cases, but when you're actually able to apply them to a variety of use cases in a reliable way, in a professional context, uh, we believe, and we've designed this program to uh, show you how to use that and to actually get, give you hands-on experience in using these tools. Um, overall, this is gonna be a really brief session. We only have, uh, we've scheduled it for, I believe, 60 minutes. I don't think we're going to need all 60 minutes. I'm just going to speak for about another uh, five to 10 minutes. But then I'd like to leave it open for Q&A for anyone who would like to say. We recognize that many of you have other, uh, are working. You're probably doing other things as well. So once we wrap up the session, then we can move into a Q&A session, Q session. But overall, this is why we're here. We're here to teach you how to use AI tools, um, such as ChatGPT, such as Claude, such as, um, we won't be using Google Copilot, but that's another Copilot sort of approach um, and no code platforms to be able to be more productive at work using AI tools to improve your employment, uh, not just your employability. So as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing hands-on challenges to help make you an expert AI user. Um, we're going to be applying all of this to project management. So uh, that's the use case that we have in mind project management in different fields, in the field of business. I believe we have some advertising use cases, some marketing use cases as well. Um, yeah, I think uh, we covered three or four major use cases. Uh, so advertising, marketing, uh, general business. I don't think we're covering software development. Uh, so you tell, I see your question, I'm gonna answer that in a second. And what we want to make sure, uh, and how do we foresee this journey moving from becoming an expert user to actually improving your employability is we want to make sure that if you look at your CV or when employers look at your CV and they give you an interview, that you actually have the relevant experience that you're, uh, you say you have and you're able to demonstrate that both on your CV uh, as well as during an interview. So that's, uh, that's the journey that we have in mind. So those hands-on challenges We'll be starting this week. You'll be getting your first challenge uh, today. And each challenge will last uh, six days. And what we expect is that, so those are the technical challenges. We'll have different career challenges as well. We'll be having guest talks as well. So putting all of that together uh, and giving you those applications and making sure that you have 
that fluency uh, in our experience. And we've been running these sorts of programs since 2017. Um, they lead to a significant uh, Im improvement in your employability. There's a question in the chat box, which is around uh, cert certification. People who finish the course and they complete at least four out of the 12 challenges will be getting a certificate after completing the course. So the answer is yes, we do offer certificates uh, once the course is completed. If you have any other questions, you can keep it to the end or you can also just put it in the chat box there. So I'm just trying to go to the next uh, slide. Um, yeah, so how to be successful. So what we're looking for are, are in our uh, advice, one is successful uh, in a couple of different ways. One is you need to try everything. So the challenges that we put out have been designed uh, such that probably, or some of you may not be able to finish everything. Um, and we try and always leave a little bit of room in the challenges so that those people who are extra motivated or those people who have extra time uh, will have extra, will have more work to do. Um, so what does that mean? It means a couple of things. One is that uh, we've tried to time this for 20 hours of active learning per week. And what that means in practice is that uh, there's actually quite a bit of trial and error that has to happen, quite a bit of self-driven learning, quite a bit of experimentation. This is not a program, um, this is not a program where you show up, you learn, you take the exam, you get your certificate. Why is it not that sort of program? It's not that sort of program because in our experience, that sort of program doesn't necessarily lead to you being able to get a better job. Why does it not lead to you being able to get a better job? Because even if you can uh, write something on your CV, um, when it comes to the interview or when it, you go to your current job, we want to make sure that you have the confidence and the fluency to be able to apply those skills uh, to whatever use case it is that you have. So to be successful, we recommend and we've seen that you need to be able to actually try the project, you need to allocate quiet time, thinking time to actually trying these projects out. Um, you need to be able to work together with your peers, with the team as well. And we do have a full-time team of tutors who is here to help you. Um, you will be handing in assignments and getting feedback on every single assignment that you hand in. All the sessions uh, are there, supported by our full-time team. We have the Slack work group as well, where you can always ask questions. So trying everything, even if it's not perfect, uh, is number one. Number two is that we'll be having sessions throughout the week. There's a schedule that's been shared. Um, and if you're not able to attend the live sessions, then everything will be recorded and viewing those recordings or asking tutors of the team for help or your colleagues for help uh, is also important. Um, so this is, it's really just a uh, starting point. Um, we're going to be sharing more materials as we go. Um, an onboarding manual will be continued to be updated. Um, we are, this is a very new program for us. Uh, our normal training, the intensive training is in a more mature state, but um, we ran the first edition of this program from April to earlier this month. And uh, we were very pleased with the outcome in terms of the amount that people learned and the satisfaction with the course material. Um, and those people who were the most successful were those people who uh, were those people who were really engaged, who were engaging with their colleagues, who were engaging with the team. But I think the most important thing is this interest and this willingness in acquiring uh, the skills and being an expert user of AI. Um, as I mentioned, we do have a team of tutors. We do have careers tutors as well. We have technical tutors as well. We have a lead instructor. There's a cohort manual. You'll be meeting everyone uh, over the course of this week. But uh, the Slack channel is really the first place to come to ask for help. And during, uh, during daytime, during core working hours, which we say is 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. UTC, um, which is also GMT, um, we will be able to ensure that you get a response to any questions that you have very, very quickly. Um, I see a couple of questions in the chat box. So I'm going to go and uh, take those right now. Um, so we have, is the course focused on AI 
or it doesn't include project management. So UTL, and sorry for not getting the name perfectly. So the course is focused on AI applied to project management. So when we're using an AI tool, we want you to use the AI tool in the context of project management. So AI can be used in many different domains. It can be used as a co-pilot uh, to help you develop software. That's not our focus here. Um, we're going to be using AI for things like supplementing a web search. We're going to be using AI for document generation, AI for translation, AI for image generation, uh, AI for document summarization um, in, the, in those areas. And we don't only want to have you use AI. We're going to be working with you to uh, produce project documentation, to do things like analyzing CVs, um, to search up information in different ways. We want you to be able to um, work with data as well. And so everything that we're, we've put together are, you'll be presented with 12 different use cases, or it may be 11 use cases, depending. I think some of the projects may last two weeks, but real end-to-end -end use cases, which simulate what you would get in industry. So if you were to be hired as a project manager in, in industry, um, our approach is to say, you could do this task yourself in uh, about a month, but using AI, you can get this done in a week. And we want to take you through that full use case where we show you uh, that, for example, one of the use cases we had in UTJ1 in the first edition of this program was reviewing long documents. In this case, it was a 172 page document and using different AI tools, you can summarize that in about 10 seconds for free as opposed to uh, reading through those 172 pages. So that's the answer to the question. Is this AI or AI focused on project management? Isaac, yeah, applications are still open. The question is, can people still apply while classes are ongoing? Yes, applications are still open. Um, people can be applying until the middle of September, the 20th of September. So our requirement for getting the certificate is to complete at least four, uh, at least four of the weeks of the challenge. Now, we will be providing you with twelve weeks of content, and we really recommend that you complete as many of them as possible. Why is that? It's not to get a certificate, but it's to improve your employability. So, those people, um, and it's still a very new program for us. So, the results we have it's too early to speak about results, but we believe, based on our other programs, uh, where we it's also a twelve week program. But those people who complete each and every one of the challenges, um, we've seen them have an average increase in salary of about five times. So here, our expectations are much more modest. We're expecting a increase in salary, um, which is much more modest than that, because we have such a broad range of people coming into the program. But we believe, and anecdotally, we've seen that those people who have stuck with the content have really acquired um, the ability to use AI, modern AI tools, and sort of and to apply that magic uh, to their work. So, uh, Ayidia says, "I'm going to ask for this material. I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Um, I have work at most of the time on their sessions. Is it possible to catch up by viewing the recordings? Yes, absolutely. Um, everything will be shared in the Slack group or by um, or by email. So it's not mandatory." It's not mandatory to attend all the sessions. We do recommend, Meraki, if possible, that you attend at least one session a week. I would recommend at least the Monday session. Uh, we have a challenge introduction, challenge introduction session where if you attend, you'll be able to get the introduction to the challenge uh, led usually by our lead tutor, not now. Um, so I think if you're able to attend at least one session, I'd uh, recommend you attend that where the opportunity to ask questions in a synchronous way uh, is valuable. If you're not able to attend that and you need to watch the recording, that's also fine. Then please do uh, watch uh, the recordings and use the Slack group to ask questions. Ashalo says, uh, what are the opportunities after getting certified? Um, and how can we get the opportunities? So to be clear, we are a training program. Um, we are not we will not be providing you with job opportunities or internships ourselves. What we've done is to design the training program in such a way that um, 
in terms of what you can add to your CV. And when you get to the interview, that you will have uh, demonstrable skills, which we, uh, in our work with industry, we are convinced, uh, not just because we believe it, but because we spend a lot of time uh, and a lot of effort collecting data from industry to showcase that this is what industry is actually demanding. So to be clear, we are a training program. Um, if we will not be providing jobs or internships, um, we are a training program. So the recordings will be shared. We have a Google, uh, we have a YouTube channel. Um, and so you can look at those recordings on the YouTube channel. Um, you can ask that question in the Slack group or I'll ask uh, if Makita, if you could please post a link to the YouTube channel so then you can find them. You can also, it's very easy, just go to YouTube and search for 10 Academy and you'll find all of our recordings there. Uh, Jordanos asks, I'm a student. Do you recommend that I continue this program? Um, it depends on how much time you have and it also depends on what your, what your expectations or what you're planning to do afterwards. So if you are interested in learning how to become uh, a user of AI as it, apply, as it applies to workflows that you would experience as a project manager in the industry, then I think it's uh, valuable for you to continue the program. Um, if you have the time to put into the program, then I think it's valuable for you to continue. Uh, beyond that, I would need a little bit more information before I can give you, I can tell you something further. So I just wanted to, uh, so I don't have too much more to sh too much more to say. I think there's going to be a lot of information coming your way in terms of this week's challenge. You already have the schedule. Uh, the submission and the feedback is going to be, you, you will be getting through a platform called 10x. Um, the 10x platform is our custom platform. We've developed it ourselves where we are using uh, automatic grading to provide you with feedback uh, on every assignment that you submit. Um, we do know that uh, auto grading is not a perfect technology. That's why if there's a question you should be you should ask. If the grade doesn't make sense, then you should ask and uh, ask for feedback and we'll make sure that a human it, uh, manually grades or regrades whatever uh, whatever you've submitted. So, yeah, so we have uh, the technical challenges that will be dropping. We have the careers challenges that will also be dropping um, or that you'll also be taking up this week. Uh, the normal schedule that we have on a week-by-week -week basis is from Monday to Saturday. Um, and we've done that on purpose because we know that many of you do have other activities that you're taking up. And uh, we want to make sure that there's at least one weekend day where um, you do have the time to continue your work and uh, to spend that Saturday really catching up and um, yeah, and developing. Um, the community build, the, there's a question on what is the community building session about? So Emilian is on the call. He has his uh, camera on as well. So Emilian, I'm going to pass it over to you to answer that question. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. I'm happy to meet you. Uh, so with the question, community being session is there. It's just a session to for us to relax. I know like uh, most of us are into a lot of things, uh, adding up with the training as well. So community building session will be there for us to relax, learn, but also know more each other, building that, that community together so that even in the future, we can also still have the community together. So it will be there every day. We'll be announcing uh, it on Slack accordingly. Thank you so much. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you. Um, and so just a quick introduction on who's who, uh, or at least in terms of titles. Um, so the overall, if you have a question, uh, Makita is uh, our cohort manager. So if there's a question on scheduling, on organization, if something, if anything isn't making sense, if you have a question on admissions, if you don't know where to go, then your either first or last point of contact, depending on how you look at it, is Makita. Uh, Natnail is responsible for all of the technical content, so the AI content and the what we call the technical challenges. Um, so you'll be meeting him soon with the uh, challenge introduction. We have a team of tutors as well as career tutors. Um, and so they'll be leading you through the and uh, delivering the tutorials on uh, that are relevant. And so we design tutorials 
every week that are relevant to the challenge that you're undertaking. So the careers tutors and the tutors are people that you'll also be meeting. And then with the creating platform, uh, the 10X platform, they, the 10X team will be functioning more as technical support. So you can reach out to them if you're not able to submit your assignment or if there's something which isn't uh, working for you in terms of the grading or if you have a question on the technical side of the 10X platform, then you can reach out to the 10X team. Um, so I'm going to stop here and see if anyone else on the team has any anything to add, uh, and then we'll go into a Q&A session. So there's a couple of questions dropping. Please keep adding those. Thank you for your questions. But uh, Makita, Nadnail, Emilien, uh, any of the other tutors, is there anything else you want to add in terms of the introduction? I don't know if Yevabel is on the call. If he's here, then just have a look. No. Yeah, so anyone else on the team who wants to add anything? Um, no, actually, maybe I would like to say welcome for everyone, and I hope we're going to have a good time, a good three months. Yeah, but I don't have anything else to say. Thanks, Radiat. So Radiat's one of the technical tutors on the team. Okay, so... Um, Arun, uh, may I speak? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Okay, so hi everyone, welcome again, uh, I'm Makita. And so what I just wanted to add was uh, the channels that we use on Slack, about the channels that we use on Slack. So we have all broadcast channel, all community building, all music, all randoms, 10x support and all week one. We will be adding uh, only women in the women on the um, channel. So uh, I would recommend that you guys uh, send your message to the right channels. Uh, so every week we'll be creating uh, new channels uh, according to the week, just like the one we have uh, for our first week. So yeah, you'll be getting all the um, submission, I mean, uh, tec the technical challenge document and also career challenge document link on the current week, on the week that you are. Uh, that's regarding the channel. And also on the broadcast channel, if there is any announcements. So. Yeah, uh, you guys can also uh, communicate on the week one cha uh, on the week's channel, and also um, send uh, any resources that you think are relevant uh, for your peers on the old resource resources uh, channel. And also, if there's any information that you'd like to share, you can use the old general channel. So yeah, I just wanted to add that, and welcome again. Thanks. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick recap. Uh, Emilien, do you want to go ahead? Uh, no, just to add something uh, small. For fun things, community building channel would be the best one. In case you want to bring something fun, something like full, community building channel will be there. Yeah. Yeah, Emilien likes a good meme and a good joke. So, um, Bamadele, I'm going to take your question in a second. I just want to do uh, just to go back to the start to do a quick recap uh, for those of you who joined uh, a couple of minutes later. So uh, so welcome everyone. This is the second edition of our University to Jobs program. Um, and we've designed this program to provide relevant uh, skills to uh, that we think are uh, important to improve the employability of any young person, uh, let's, and we really designed this for people who are exiting university who want to enter the workforce. Some of you will already be working, but we think that a couple of skills that are missing are um, AI skills, so becoming an expert user of AI tools. Um, so that's number one. The second is we want to apply those to project management. That's number two. And then the third, which I hadn't mentioned before and which is equally important, is ensuring that um, the relevant career skills are also there. So that means in terms of written communication, in terms of being able to speak with other people, working uh, with other people in groups, and getting a sense of um, proactivity, managing your time, how to run a schedule, how to actually coordinate a project. So we've bundled all of this into this uh, three month long program and you'll be experiencing this or we'll be providing this through uh, 12 different weeks of content. 
each week is self-contained. Uh, if you miss week one, it doesn't mean that you can't continue with week two. Um, week two will be independent of week one. Now, to get the most value out of this program, we recommend that you uh, take all 12 weeks of the program. Um, but the minimum required for anyone who is new to the program uh, or to get the certificate is to complete four weeks uh, successfully. And that means you will be getting feedback. You do have to complete the assignments well. And uh, we believe that those people who complete at least four weeks of the program will be able to um, experience an improvement in their employability, uh, in their employment, sorry, not their employability. Um, that I'd, so just to answer some of the questions that have been already covered, which are relevant. One is uh, we are still open for admissions. Um, and uh, admissions will be open until the 20th of September. Applications continue through the normal process. So if you feel that there's someone else you know who can make use of this program, then please do recommend that they apply. Um, so that's number one. Certificates will be provided, as I already mentioned. Um, yeah, I think in terms of tools and getting used to the workflow, there is always a slight adjustment period, uh, but I think that over the course of the week, we're gonna be able to address that. So looking forward to uh, addressing that. Um, so, with, so with that, I'm just gonna ask, ask people to mute, please. Uh, and I'm just gonna go through the questions that we have. So we have, um, actually the last, the last point that I wanna mention is that uh, the program is uh, being fully supported by a donor. So there is no, there is no fee to any of you to participate. And that'll be true for not only you, but for anyone else who enrolls in this edition of the program. Um, we don't have any further upcoming programs uh, in the UTJ scheduled. Uh, we have funding for the one that just finished in July and the one that finished, uh, that's starting right now. So we can commit that for this program, those who uh, enroll before the 20th of September, there won't be any uh, course fee. So with that, I think uh, we're now moving into the Q&A session, uh, the Q&A phase of the program, and I'm just gonna address them in the chat box. So if you have a question, please put it in the chat box and um, we can address it there. So Eric asks, or Bichaka asks, how many and how long will we attend online meetings weekly? So we have uh, probably about if you attend all of the community building sessions, it's about, uh, I would say, seven to 10 hours per week of scheduled content. Um, so we'd recommend you attend as many as possible. Um, yeah, so it's it's not required to attend everything, but uh, yeah, the, what's really, so I think what you're asking and what the question that I'll answer is what's required to attend. So you're not required to, What's really mandatory is to complete the assignments. And completing the assignments is harder than attending the sessions because you know, attending the sessions, you can show up and not necessarily actively be learning. But to actually complete the assignments, you must, um, you must complete the assignments. And at least four complete assignments have to be submitted for you to graduate. But we do have between seven and 10 hours of online mess, online meetings or online content per week. Uh, Eric asks, how is this program important for those who have no background in project management? Um, Eric, we've designed the program to be relevant for those who are interested in entering the world of work. Um, I don't think there's any, any job, I've, there's no job that I can think of today in industry that has no uh, project management background required. Whether you're a software developer, whether you're a cook, whether you are a uh, influencer, I think there's uh, project management that's relevant to each and every job. So I think this program is relevant to anyone who wants to enter industry. And I think project management is an important skill um, to pick up. Adel asks, are the slides gonna be available as well? Yes, slides will be available. Um, and those will be shared in the same way that the Google documents uh, or the weekly challenges will be shared. You'll have access to a folder. Um, we use Google Drive and in that folder, the slides will be updated. Uh, Iomedia asks, what is the duration of the program? The program duration is three months. We'll be finishing the program in early October. 
Um, and Bamadela asks, is the program structured for those who are new to project management? Absolutely. So we're not, we don't presuppose any knowledge in AI tools. We don't presuppose any knowledge in project management. The most important uh, quality that we're looking for is motivation, is hunger. People who are interested in actually uh, improving their employment. Can we have a link to the Slack channels? Um, yeah, I'm going to provide that for you right now. I'll put it in the, or maybe somebody can put it in the chat box for me, please. Um, so that anyone who doesn't, you should have it, you should have that in your email. But Mikita, if you could just put that in the chat box, then uh, we can just have people click on it. Yeah, there it is. Um, a women's channel, does it mean for women or do we share what we have for women? So we do have a separate program uh, for women in the program. And uh, part of that is a separate Slack channel where it's only for women. Uh, it's a place for women to discuss with other women, to ask questions. Uh, I believe our, we'll have women's tutors who are there as well. Um, and the intention there is to improve the uh, ability of women to continue in the program, to get support, and to, uh, yeah, basically to encourage or to improve the uh, satisfaction and also the completion rate for women. It's one of the things that many of the previous, those who have come before you have asked for. It's a separate space for women to discuss with other women. Uh, Binny asks, will the AI tools be free or uh, paid ones? We use free tools as much as possible. So we're not expecting you to pay any money uh, to use AI tools. So you should be, all the tools should be uh, tools that afterwards you should be able to access equally well for free. Um, Yasa Bene asks, is it possible to enroll in other 10 Academy programs uh, or other AI training programs while I'm enrolled in the UTJ program? Um, it is possible. I think that they have very, very different, uh, they're different exit points. So with uh, the UTJ program, we want you to be an expert user of AI tools as it applies to project management. Um, with our intensive training program, we want you to be an expert AI engineer. Um, we also have very different expectations of time. Our intensive training program is about 10 hours a day, six days a week, uh, which is 60 hours a week. And here we're expecting no more than 20 hours a week. And so it's really, it's really a different sort of program. So I would recommend uh, that we, it's unusual that people are enrolled in more than one program at the same time. So I am happy you can send me a message on Slack or you can talk to Makita about it. Um, it's unusual. We haven't had people enrolled in the past in more than one program at a time. Um, Love Peace, which I guess uh, asks, do you share us the AI tools? So we're using publicly available free AI tools. So ChatGPT, for example, is a free tool which is available to anyone. We will be guiding you on how to access them, where to access them, where to find them. But um, none of the tools are our own proprietary tools. We will uh, show you how to use them. So just like anyone can use Google Search, just like anyone can use, um, I don't know, the weather service, if you want to find out what the weather is, the tools are also equally available and free um, for you. So are there internship options or opportunities during or after the training? That's a question from Godfred. Um, there, so we are a training program. And what that means is that we are focused on taking you through uh, the training and giving you the skills, knowledge, the attitudes, and the ideas that you need to be successful. But uh, at now, as of now, with the UTJ program, we are not uh, providing internship opportunities, and we're not able to link you um, with particular programs. We will be working with you on preparing your CV and your other application materials to make sure that it is uh, meeting standards. Um, and that's about as far as we can take you right now. So Sydney asks if you can share the link so that it can be shared with friends. So uh, if that could please be shared, Makita, if you can just paste the link. Actually, I can just do it here now, an academy. Um, so if you go to our website, 
and click on Programs and UTJ. So I'm going to uh, just post it right here. So for uh, Sydney, uh, if you send this link to your friends, that has the information as well as a link on to the application form. Uh, we'll, we will be admitting people uh, on a weekly basis, so the next admission will be next Monday. So in a week from now, which is Monday the 5th of August, so that we can uh, onboard people properly. So can we have recorded videos of live, live meetings like this one? Uh, it's a question from Biddy. Yes, all the videos will be available on our YouTube channel. Um, NetSunnet asks, will there be certification fees? No. There are no fees. We're not going to surprise you. We're not going to ask you for money to get a certificate. There are no fees for this edition of the program. Are there opportunities after training or certificate? Um, that's a question from Chuyu Bahe. I don't fully understand the question, Chuyu Bahe. Maybe you can give me be a little bit more precise on what you mean. Um, I mean, there, there are huge opportunities, right? The real reason that we're here is still presented on the screen. We're here to improve your uh, employment. And so what we've seen from our, our other programs is people who go through the program, what they're able to do is to get a better job uh, and earn more money through that better job. So that's really the biggest reason that we have. Now there's quite a bit of work from being well-trained into getting that and having that certificate into getting a job. So we are there to help prepare you, but we're not able to handhold you and uh, get you directly into that job. But we believe that um, what you will have, which we haven't mentioned before, is you will be able to showcase the projects that you've completed. Um, and in our experience, uh, putting together a website or a profile page along with your CV and being able to walk through, um, walk through that on an interview or with, the, or with your employer is quite a powerful. Um, it's quite a powerful outcome. But um, to you, Baho, if you can explain that question a little bit more, I think I can help you uh, further. Then, um, so Hiro Mosa, yeah, that's correct. There are no certificate fees uh, for this edition of the course. Absolutely true. What is the YouTube channel's main uh, name? Do you mind attaching the link as well? I mean. Yeah, I can do that for you. You can also, I'm just going to do the same thing that I would recommend that you do. I would just go to YouTube and search for 10 Academy. And um, there we go, 10 Academy. It's here, and we will be creating a playlist. Um, but yeah, you can just uh, search for 10 Academy, and I'm going to put the link here in the chat box. But yeah, very easy for anyone to find. So are there any other questions? I don't know if uh, Onojo and Sion, if you have questions, you have your hands up. Do you have questions? So while we're trying to wait and see if anyone else has any questions, Onojo, I don't know if you have a question. Um, it's important, the outcome of this session should really be that everyone knows why they're here and how the program works. So are there any questions that relate to that? Do we all know, does anyone not know uh, what the outcome of the training program will be and uh, how we've designed it? Does anyone not know that? OK. So I'm going to say it again. We're here to, just to, just to be sure, um, we want to make expert users of AI tools as it applies to project management. So we want to make sure that you're not just using ChatGPT to create jokes. We want you to teach you, we want to teach you to use ChatGPT to make your work a lot more efficient. Um, for a, a, a good example, one of the use cases that we did last time is getting information from the web using Google search works really well. But using a co-pilot, you can not only get that information but you can analyze that information and get the information and have the output format in the form that you want uh, while searching three or four different websites in one go. So it allows you to get to work faster, to ask questions, to do data analysis, to draw conclusions, um, to write reports, and you can do all of that in one step. 
So Rahama, uh, where can we get the recorded video? Uh, again, everything will be uploaded to our YouTube channel, um, usually within a couple of hours after the session is over. So I think we've covered admissions. Uh, admissions are still open until the 20th of September. We've covered course fees. There are no course fees. There are no certification fees. Um, certificates will be provided uh, for everyone who completes the minimum, which uh, is at least four full weekly challenges, even though we recommend that you get 12. And I mean, frankly speaking, the content is there. It's being provided. Uh, there's no additional cost for taking additional content. And the more you learn, the more use cases you have, uh, the better your employability will be. Um, we've shared links to the uh, site where you can get more information on our programs. We've shared information to the YouTube channel. Um, yeah. And so again, I'm one of the co-founders of the organization together with the team, uh, Makida, Natnal, Emilien, Rediet. Uh, I'm not sure who else is from the team is on the call. I think there's some others as well. You'll be meeting us throughout the week. Um, the You will be getting uh, Slack is really, it's important that everyone is part of the Slack group. That's the right place to ask questions. That's the place we'll be sharing information. So Slack is uh, one of the most important places where we'll be um, having our community building sessions, sharing information. The 10x learning platform is where you'll submit your assignments and also where you'll be getting feedback on your assignments and viewing the leaderboard as well and um, we're also using google drive to share folders <clears throat> uh, love peace asks do we get the youtube in platforms such as 10x or slack or should we find your channel so you should find our channel. We've now posted it uh, above. We posted it in Slack, or you can just search for it. So I think uh, finding the YouTube channel is well covered. So when I'm a student, I'm a student before. I mean, most of the time you're talking to them, graduates. So Jordanos asks, um, how can the program be useful for students? So we've designed the program for industry. Um, can it be useful for you as a student? Um, that's diff that's a little bit more difficult for me to say. It depends a little bit more on the type of uh, course that you're enrolled in and uh, what the mode of evaluation or instruction is. So I think uh, AI tools are also useful for uh, students, but it's not the core, it's not how we've designed uh, our program. So you're a software engineering student, so we're not, we're not teaching GitHub Copilot. We're not teaching software development. We are teaching AI as it relates to project management. So I, I'm not going to be able to answer that question at the right level of detail. But um, maybe, Jordanos, it's, it's worthwhile for you to evaluate the first week of the program and, and then for you to judge if it's something you want to continue with. But we're not teaching software development, and we're not uh, teaching this as it relates to uh, universities. However, um, I think project management and AI tools are broadly useful. They're generally useful, or they're useful in all contexts. But to be clear, this is not uh, the UTJ program is uh, designed for people without a technical background. So are there any last questions? OK. We're, I'm conscious of your time. I don't want to take any more time than is necessary. Um, so I'd just like to say on behalf of the organization, on behalf of the team, welcome again. We're really happy to be working with you over the, uh, the next three months and beyond. Um, we measure our success by how well each of you will do uh, after the program. So we'll be working with you for the next three months, but we're also going to be staying in touch with you after the program to learn what your employment journey looks like after, um, I'd say, I think 12 to 18 months after graduation. So the way we uh, have designed this program or looking at the success of the program, it's uh, the success of the graduates or the success of those of you who have gone through the program. So um, we are here to work with you. We're not here to simply to give you a certificate, but we want to make sure that you have the skills, the knowledge, the attitudes and the ideas um, to be successful. So I would encourage each and every one of you to make the best possible use of our support 
over the next three months. And we'll be providing that through the challenges that we've designed and we've designed them carefully um, so that if you go through everything, we think that you'll pick up a significant number of skills, but we're also here and available to answer any of your questions. The best way to ask and the best way to get support is asking in the right Slack channel uh, for this week. It's all week one, but we are here to support. And um, now it's over to each and every one of you uh, to put the right time and the effort. And um, especially, especially important is the people who have been successful in our training programs are the ones who are not here for a certificate, but they're here to learn. They're here because they want to figure out how to do something. And if you look at it over a longer period of time, and we've been running programs for the last seven years, the people who invest the um, come with the right mindset, the people who are here because they really want to learn how to do something, how to do something well, are the ones that in the longer term end up uh, growing in their careers very, very uh, much more quickly than anyone else. So all of this to say, we're here to support you in your journey of active learning. Um, we have not figured out how to motivate people. So we hope that you are ready to be motivated or you're coming to us motivated and we can uh, transform that motivation into improved employability. Uh, and the last question is uh, from Alazar Kasun. I'm a project management student. How can the AI project management program help me? Um, we believe that it, if you are an expert user of AI tools, then you'll be able to work uh, A, more quickly. B, uh, you'll be able to complete, uh, you'll have new competencies, for example, data analysis, for example, report writing, for example, image generation, for example, automated tracking of tickets. Um, there are a lot of tools and technologies that are available to all of us now, so all of us around the world. And it's very difficult to keep up to date with all of those tools, Alazar. So our job is to figure out which tools are available, how, the, how they could be applied, and to make sure that you can uh, actually apply them. So that's a brief answer. We hope that you'll be able to get more done and get more done faster uh, than you would if you were just doing it by yourself. And an analogy that I would use is, um, I think with the AI tools that we have now, it's the difference between a uh, person pushing a cart versus using a horse versus using a truck versus using a train. So with a train, you can pull a lot more stuff than you could just push by hand. And with the new tools that are available, it's uh, in some ways equivalent to comparing what you could do before was a person pushing a cart. And now with the new tools, tools like ChatGPT um, applied in the right way, it's like pulling a train's worth of goods behind you. Yeah. So I'm going to, with that, we can stop the recording. Thank you. Uh, welcome. And looking forward to working with you over the next three months. Um, please do keep an eye on Slack. We'll be announcing all the sessions there. Uh, if you have any questions, use the All Week One channel to reach out. And yeah, looking forward to having, working with you. Thank you.